Hi, I'm Ozzy and today I'm going to talk to you about Czechs, actually not about, I'm doing Czechs Republic snack tasters. I went to Prague recently for like three nights, no, two nights, three days, yes, that makes more sense. <laughs> and um, basically it's really, it's really hard to see everything and taste a lot of stuff in like three days. So all I got to taste was like their ice cream, which was amazing. It was like, in a, the cone was like, think of it like a cinnamon pretzel, but it had like, it was shaped as a cone and you just fill it up with ice cream, you just eat it and you just feel like the sick at the end of it, but you're just like, mmm. Anyway, I also had smoothies, which were so great. You can't find smoothies like that in England because there's no fresh fruit here, you know. <laughs> and I tried a few snacks there, but I did bring a few back with me to England, but I didn't bring enough, so I brought oh something spoons. This one. It's wafers. I've had a lot of these because I'm Turkish and there's in Turkish shops there's just full of these and Polish people have a lot of these as well I think. And you can see it's in Czech. And there is this one. It's also in Czech. But normal chocolate with me. That's like orange chocolate, but like the brand is probably their brand, you know. Um, of course you can't forget that. I'm not gonna see Haribo's because Haribo's is a brand. So well, I don't know what they're called exactly, but. We call it Jelly Bon in Turkish, mm. and they call their brand is Jojo. It looks tasty. Okay, first I will try the waffle because if I can open it, you know. Why do these people make it so I can't open the snack and I cannot eat it? <laughs> If the top doesn't work, you always try the bottom. And if that doesn't work, ooh, it worked. You usually get scissors, but it just takes for ages. Ooh, it's a bit crushed. A bit. Oh, I'm scared that I'm gonna get it all over the carpet. It literally looks like normal offers that you can get from like Tesco's and I don't know, places. Vanilla. Mm. Tastes just normal. Not much difference. So basically, out of 10 stars, 10 because this uh, apparently Warfers is international, you know. It's the same in every country. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. And let's try this one. Mm. This one's good packaging. Easy to open. I'm already happy about this one. When it comes to food, and most stuff where you have to wait or try to open, I have no patience. Oh, these are stuck together. Probably because it melted. This is what it looks like. It looks like oat cakes underneath and just chocolate covered. Doesn't really look appetizing. And I think it's dark chocolate. Mmm. Coconut flavours. This is good. It's different. It's better than that because it's new. It might have them in England and stuff, but I haven't tried anything like this, so you know. Mmm. Definitely good. By the way, England is finally getting hot. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Chocolate. I have no water, that's sad. Because that means I'm not really going to be able to taste the Jojo's. 
These just remind me of lint chocolates, you know, like the ones sold in England. They are shaped exactly like this. Ooh, golden packet. It feels like I want a ticket to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Except it's not a ticket, it's a chocolate bar covered in covered in golden tin foil. Oh, I should have showed you. <laughs> Just writing on it. Definitely a lot more orangey than the ones they do in England. Mm, it's okay. Not bad. Put some more on the side for later. Because <laughs> this has to go back into the fridge or it's going to melt in this weather now. That's the first time seeing it. Because like in England usually, you can leave it outside and it cools down for you. And usually my room is cold. That goes there. Yeah, it's dark chocolate, so people... I don't like dark chocolate, so no. But it's still good. Once. Clear my mouth. I'm getting to my favorite part. Because ah! you know, Haribo's are my thing, sweets are my thing. <laughs> and the one thing I like about this is it's so squeaky. Look, so soft. Unlike Haribo's, I mean, like, usually Haribo's are a lot harder than this. Like, they're not this good. I love the fact it goes Barveno Pirodo Farbene Pirodo. I think it's like no artificial flavoring because like you know it's on the leaf and stuff but I'm guessing I can't really read it I can't really understand the language so you know Ooh, I think it says pear here or am I just imagining that I don't like tearing things if it's packets like this I just like to open it up this way Says the girl. And oh, oh, okay, it works. Yay! <laughs> Not really. It's split, but then it's connected by this thing. Okay, problem solved. Let's go. This honestly doesn't smell like sweets. It smells like fruit paste. <laughs> oh, but it's so squishy. They're little bears, but these bears are cuter, like the Haribo bears don't even have a face and they're so much smaller, but it's just so cute. It's so kawaii. I don't know Japanese, but it just, I don't know, sounds nice to say. It's bite off his head. Mm. Mm. My favorite by far out of all these. Wolfer, very same as other countries. That coconut round biscuit thing, it's cool. It looks healthy because they use dark chocolate, coconut, and wheat. It has to be healthy. And the chocolate, it's very orangey. <laughs> And it's healthy again because it's dark chocolate. This one, the most unhealthy thing here, obviously. It's something I like. It's a red bear. And now it's dead. Mm. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Mm. 6 or 7 out of 10. 10 out of 10 because it's the same in every country. 10 out of 10 for this one as well. I only had one, two, three, four snacks and that's it. So bye for today.